Hi, Samuel. Hello. Sarah from the upcoming Lovely to Meet You. Yes. Congratulations on, a, on, on your part in a I'm wonderful too, yeah. film. I've <laughs> got something to look forward to. Um, what can you tell us about your role in, in this uh, film? I play Anthony Eden, who is a, a sidekick of Churchill and a trusted confidant, and eventually has to be the man who says, I can't stay with you because I think you're wrong. Some incredible performances, uh, particularly from, from Gary Oldman. What was it like working with the cast and director? It was um, one of the most pleasurable experiences of my career or of my life, actually. I think there are a few... I didn't have a lot to do in this film, but my principal memory is of the pleasure of watching a, an extraordinary director and actor at work, I, including you know, some very long scenes where I just watched Gary doing his speeches and thought, I'm learning so much. Uh, and we got home and, you know, we're exchanging tweets with the, the supporting artists who were playing the MPs going, you know, occasionally days at work are really, really good. Wasn't that, um, wasn't that astounding? It was just amazing. And what do you think the, the story has to say to a contemporary audience? Um, resist fascism in all its forms. Uh, never give in to extreme nationalism and know yourself and know your country. Uh, I think it couldn't be more timely, really. Fantastic. Thanks so much for your time. Congratulations again. Thanks. Well, we all felt quite supported by the documentary help we had. We were, le we were lectured by people who knew about um, Churchill and we watched films of the time and we bonded as a company. And we also rehearsed quite a lot because Gary was very present from early on and, you know, knew his lines and didn't just arrive on the first day, open the script and say, OK, where are we? It's a part that he'd, he'd prepared for for a long time. So I think, you know, on the whole, it was... It was a company that, that pulled together and just had a laugh. It's funny how the most serious shows are often the ones which are most enjoyable to do. You know, because basically you've got to have a laugh when you're talking about the destruction of your country by fascists. My principal memory of the shooting of the film is of often having nothing to say in a scene, but just standing there and watching a great director and a great actor at work. Uh, I was swapping tweets at the end of our for a big day in uh, the House of Commons where he delivered his Fight Them on the Beaches speech. Just going, you know, occasionally in your life, in your professional life, and in your life actually, you're just blessed with a day where you watch an incredible person work and you just come home and go, that was such a great day at work. Oh yes, a lot about him. I mean, he's, he's very much a man who, uh, you know, rose, cometh the hour, cometh the man. And he's a lot of things to a lot of people, but we had many experts, many people who thought that, you know, this was basically the, the time that made him. Many people thought that until about 1940, his life could be, in fact there are books that say so, could be characterised as a failure. You know, he rose to the occasion at a time when that was what Britain needed, needed somebody to do. So, yeah, resist fascism in all its forms. Never ever give in to extreme right-wing nationalist views. Full stop. <laughs>